Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing with the Union in Britain, as well as some coffee. Cool, so, a uh, few things first of all. Uh, actually, I just noticed this. Serbia, you look a little bit too thick for my tastes. I, with you owning Banat and Bulgaria owning, like, the southern portion of Romania, this looks really, really odd to me. I mean, I guess that's normal, I suppose, but still. Anyways, uh, I don't know, just looking at Czechoslovakia, it's just kind of weird how I was thinking the timeline between when the game first released, when actually I didn't even have it released, and the time we're at now where so many states are broken up, like Zalzi, Zau or you have Western Slovakia, Southern, Eastern, Carpathian, Ruthenia. It's just interesting looking at how the provinces are tiled and what space they occupy to a degree. Sutrol looks kind of interesting. Also, between the septum last, I did give Pointu, Pointo to France because they have been great to us and they were making sure that their communism is correctly aligned with us. Now, I could do the same with someone else. I thought I did. Oh, and also with Italy, I gave them back Ancona just because they could probably use a little bit more resources um, for their war efforts because, it's, you know, we, in the end, Wait, what is this? German military cooperation? What the heck? Uh, in the end, I want them to really, you know, be self-serving for everyone. So, serving for everyone's interests. Yes. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to phrase it. Anyways, let's continue beating up our brethren, our older brethren. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty darn well. Let's go ahead and go in this way. Uh, our guys are realigning the front line. And our tanks are moving around the cabin a little bit. William Gott, how are you doing? And it's a good thing we attacked soon after the defeat of the Axis. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have oh, another division. Awesome. Uh, so we go up to Scandinavia. Actually, are you 20 with or 10? Yeah, tw you're 20 with. Cool. Very good, William Platt. Uh, it is my belief that this campaign will not last a whole lot longer. It will continue to last for a few more episodes, including this one. But not for a very much longer, so that is really... My idea. Lublin. Go, good, good, good. Get more planes in there. Uh, looks like the Soviets really haven't done very well with their line. So if you are ready to go, go ahead. No Poland. I am sorry. However, if we defeat the Soviets, uh, that's not probably not going to be the last country I destroy. For I want Europe, all of Europe, to be unified under the banner of correct communism. So what with that, with that means is that we might have a few extra places we might need to declare war upon, and I just realized I have better subs I could make. Um, yeah. Snorkel is so amazing. Well, it's it's pretty good. Maybe not super amazing, but it makes you make sure that your subs aren't detected as much. And since we only have so much naval XP, go ahead and upgrade whatever you can. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we need to train maybe a little bit more. For, uh, well, we're kind of running out of stuff here. British patrols, I want to keep the... No, uh, maybe... Uh, these guys could really use some XP. Screw it. You guys are going to go ahead and train. Since I think we're doing okay anyways. This group is patrolling, I think, well enough. I mean, there's really not that many Soviet convoys moving in or out here. That's pretty good. Uh, I suppose I forgot about... Oh, baby, look at that. That's not too bad. Um, we have a new task force. Let's see. One heavy ship hull. Uh, one of those. Cool. Select you. Come down here. British Patrol Fleet 2. And all of you will be doing this and that. Cool. We've got another battleship doing this. Very good. And we, of course, we will need more oil. Uh, let's, we could probably do the next one as well. Battleship. Richard O'Connor. Right now, I'm currently listening to see if my cat is complaining outside my door if he wants to come in. I don't think so. I don't think so. Cool. Same thing. And we got a couple of destroyers in reserve. Oh, level 4 destroyer. Nice. Which we'll use eventually. Strike Force. Honestly, with this playthrough, since we're just focusing on really just Europe, it's so much easier playing as United... The Union of Britain. The Union of Britain. Not United Kingdom. I don't, I don't know what that is. But the Union of Britannia. Uh, you can come up here. You can combine with this group. That's fine. Very good. Very good. Naval stuff is awesome. We've got 50 days left of worth of oil. 
Could use some of that Bulgarian oil, but whatever. Mm. Wow, we, we are personally making six fuel or oil. We're making six oil. It is oil, not fuel. In the UK. What is it? Curative People's Republic. Where the hell is that? Ooh, dual purpose secondary battery. Awesome. What I really hate since the... I think was it one of the hot fixes since Man the Guns came out? Is that it's quite a bit more difficult to get naval XP, which makes you have to choose, um, makes you choose select naval armaments, because you can't do everything. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at. You just can't do everything that you want when selecting naval ships and whatnot, or, you know, upgrades if you want all the different types of ships. You really have to be selective on what you want, which, in my opinion, kind of sucks. I understand it, but it still sucks. <laughs> so... I do find it kind of unfortunate. Because I want to make, like, the best subs, the best destroyers, the best carriers, the best battleships, the best light cruisers. You know, I want to fully embrace the na the new naval meta, but can't quite do that at the moment. Uh, tanks, you are not moving. And that's okay. Now you are moving. Because we may not be doing the best in certain areas, but that's okay. Very good. Actually, we might not need, need the tanks. No, my goal, ultimately is to form some sort of union. See, we have a good chunk of Africa, which I'm fine with. I don't, really don't want to expand in Africa because that's like a waste of time. But Europe, I want to make sure that Europe is like fully uh, <clears throat> aligned. So, uh, yeah. Wait, you're becoming more communist? Wait, what? And if we can't take out Portugal, so be it. Ooh, that's democracy. Daily communism support. Oh, that'll be removed very soon. Huh. You know what? Foreign subversive activities efficiency. You know what? Even though they have that. Trying to justify them would take too long. What if we just did this? That might be okay. As well as Estonia. Can I... Let's do that one. Because these are the last two powers, or last two countries besides Turkey that hold... European territory that we're not at war with, which doesn't include Poland, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. How is everyone faring? Alright, let's take a look at these upgrades, which I just started the game again. Um, well, since we're here, reinforce rate wouldn't be bad. Charismatic. Recovery rate could be good. Max planning, we're not going to do those. Guerrilla fighter, that's okay. Organization first, so we can reinforce better or recover better. Uh, let's go with Recover. I think that would probably be best. So that the guys are all ready to fight a little bit faster. I think that would be best. Um, William Slim. Mm, he can move a little faster if he wants, but whatever. Miles Dempsey. Well, ever since we invaded using him, he got a lot of XP. Uh, no. No. Pretty disappointing, but this is pretty normal, especially near the late game. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, no. My apologies. Ooh. That was not very good. Oh, my goodness. Nearly died right there. Oh, goodness. Cool, what are we fighting? Soviets. Broken Soviets. They don't have very much organization, and that's okay with me. Casualty report. That's a lot of casualties, but not too many. Wow, we've only lost less than 300 to the Romanian People's Republic before they capitulated. The Soviets have lost quite a few guys. 1.8 million from us alone, while suffering almost a million from the United States. Wow. Once we capitulate the Soviet Union, uh, a common turn will be dead. Mexico will capitulate, which I'm very surprised that they've not capitulated yet. Holy crap. Rescind the Mexican secession. Uh, daily di or division defense like core territory plus 10%. That would make sense. Uh, for this, close air support and tactical bomber. Wow. That seems like a, that's like a really good buff. That seems almost a little too overpowered in my opinion. Plus 15%. Jesus. Blue Water Navy. More, even more communism support. You said in the Mexican secession. Well, even though you're not letting America come in too hard and fast, they've already taken a good amount of your territory, Mexico. Let's see. Claim to get claims, not cores on that area. Redeem Etzlan, and then they get cores on those places, which <laughs> lose a lot of political power, but doesn't really make a lot of sense because at that time, 1940s, I mean. 
Oh, oh, wow, China capitulated? Anyways, um, this really, I mean, you had some Mexican population here, but I don't think there was maybe that much. I mean, maybe New Mexico had a significant, you know, Mexican population or people of Mexican descent or heritage. But overall, I don't think there was a lot of Mexican people here compared to, you know, other people, probably whites or even African Americans to a degree. So, I mean, but, you know, it's Hoi 4. What are you going to do about it? It's kind of interesting. You can always reform the HRE. You can form... Uh, what was it greater? That's basically greater Mexico or greater native Mexico or whatever. You can form the Kaiserreich, even though we already have a mod for that. That's a lot of divisions, you know. But that's kind of cool. It's honestly kind of cool. Uh, also, I did see. I think it was in the when I was checking out the Road to 56 focus tree for Austria when I did for that one episode or what was the last episode two days ago. That the Austrians. Oh wow, 32 convoys. Very nice. That they had claims, like, like one of the most ridiculous things, like you could get a claim on Palestine, which is kind of historical, but it's a very extremely weak claim. So, uh, but yeah, I'm doing a lot of talking while not doing a lot of warfare. Uh, tanks, how are you doing? Um, you know what? I'm gonna send the tanks down here. Oh, you already are down here. Okay then. I want you to conquer this just in case. Yeah, with the Soviets doing this and China gone. Wowzers. Wow. I don't think the Soviets can really keep up on this, especially with the Chinese defeated. Why are there so many con- Jesus! 20 more- 29 more convoys? 10 more? 11 more? 6 more? 10 more? Jesus Christ, so Soviets. Are you trying to, like, run away to Iceland or something? I own Iceland. Or, I mean, the Iceland Icelandic people are allied to us. I don't own them. They're not my puppets. No, of course not. Jesus Christ, though. What are, you, are you trying to naval invade or something? Jesus. Uh, yeah, we gotta focus on this oil problem. Um, try and build that. I don't even have nukes yet. Hmm. Well, oh, looks like we're gonna have to trade for it. United States wouldn't be bad. Oh, but Bulgaria, since we can get a little bit more oil from them, because they are our loyal friends and ally. What is this? Are they my puppet? They are my puppet. The Curative People's Republic. Where is that? Oops. Oh, they're... V Venezuela. Okay, I did not know that. Oh, wait, Port of Spain. Why are you bl gray or black? Oh, Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Wow, Williamstad. Less than 100,000 people. Very interesting. Look at all this crap. Why are you so light-colored? French Caribbean versus the Windward Islands versus... The Leeward Islands? I mean, that's even less than 100,000 people there. 87,000? Jesus. Jamaica, how many people? 1.2 million? Hmm. Cuba, 4.1. That's not bad. Wow. Mexico, uh... How many people do you have in Mexico City? Three, almost, a little less than four. Half a million there. Uh, si yeah, 6.6 .6 million in Texas. That's a big population. Less than half a million in New Mexico. Less than half a million in Arizona. 6.46 .6 there. Pennsylvania's got a lot, but there's a massive population density on the East Coast, especially Northeast. Ah, uh, very... Wow, we are pushing greatly. Ah, Kiev. One of the Eternal Cities. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, we're just walking straight into the Soviets. I think they're done. I really think they, that they are completely done. Ah, uh, they got a lot of manpower, but that's pretty much it. The death of all these soldiers, I mean... Not gonna look very good for them. Uh, Mongolia is about to capitulate as well. Jolly good. Kiev, well, you don't wanna. You're trying to break out, but if you. Even if you break out of Kiev proper, like. Where are you gonna go? You got nowhere to go. Wait, why'd you stop attacking? There you go. And. Now. With that taken almost, Kiev is gone. Cool. We've done so well, or I've let my guys just do super, super, super well. Not super well, but super well. We'll go like this. We'll come over here. We'll tell them, like, hey, guys, you got a job to do. And they're like, yay, we have jobs. Because right now, a lot of people are kind of unemployed or underemployed, really. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not talking about modern day stuff here. No, no, no. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, you're up there. You're up in the north. Uh, if you can expand, go ahead. If you can't, you know, whatever. That's okay. You guys, just tearing them up. 
Union of Britain. Man, this this world's gonna look a little weird. But since we're doing so well, I'm gonna give some territory back to maybe some of our loyal friends and allies. Well, Germany. I really don't want to make Germany way too powerful. That's really my concern, because a fully united Germany is very strong. So ultimately, I will probably cut off Prussia. I really I really hate saying that, honestly. I love Prussia. Prussia seems like such a cool former country to have existed that I don't want to give up Prussia, but I'll probably give it to the Poles <clears throat> once they are uh, of a proper ideology. Yeah. Friend carrier, huh? Um, Terrapin, huh? Universal carrier. Armor. It's only 155 days away. Not bad. Hmm. Ace pilot promoted. I could give a lot of territory to <clears throat> Austria, like southern Germany. But, hmm. I don't know. How far how far should this game go? Uh, for Spain, let's give maybe this part back to Hispania. We'll do that. Yeah, I'm a little bit cut off from Gibraltar, but in due time. In due time. Alright, not bad. Oh, wait, we do have guys down here, too. I forgot about that. Low convoy escort efficiency. Uh, what does this say? 42 ships and 4 available task forces and escort up to 104 convoys or up to 100 or 14 regions. We were at max hours. Uh, interesting. Well, regardless, we have radar and we want to get Estonia. Uh-oh. Whatever, just give me what you got. Colombia, Iraq, Peru. British North Africa. Thank you. Oh, uh, we're really running out of stuff here. Motorized, then. So be it. And it looks like we're going to have to stop some of this stuff here. Cool. Go ahead, do that. Stop training. Go home. I'll go do this and then go home. That'll probably save quite a bit of oil. And we've made a major stop here. Very cool. Go ahead if you can. There you go, boys. The tanks are still doing a pretty good job. Brian Horks, I'm still kind of disappointed that you have not leveled up yet. Alright. Very good. In about a year, two years, maybe five years, we'll have maxed out fuel. Awesome. Awesome. Hmm. How many more days do we have until... S oh, wait, what? Peace conferences is over. Oh! China was puppeted, and China was puppeted. Wow, Mita Moors, you're looking kind of fierce right there. Um, I'm surprised Japan's not at war with the United States. Interesting. Very interesting. They're at war with the former Axis, but... Hmm. China? Mm, nah. I really don't want to continue a communist agenda war into Asia. Because that's just going to take forever, and that's not a lot of fun. Especially fighting a land war. I don't like this, though. Um, I normally don't do... Stuff like this. You're communist China, but you're China, but you're not really China. This is China. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. I'm just going to transfer this to regular China. I'm just going to do that here right now, just because it's a little bit better and reduces lag by that much. Cool. There's China. Awesome. Oh, wait. What the heck? Hold on. What happened down here? Wait, so how'd you... You got cut off. That's not cool. All right, go let the tank help you out there. All right, got a little bit of political power. Ban fascism. Yeah, fascists. We got to kill all the fascists. Got to bash that fash. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah, cool, awesome, cool. We have Leningrad. Ah, one of the homes to the Russian Revolution that took a turn for the worst. That's what I'll say about it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what country do we want to turn communist? Was it Portugal, I think? Uh, they're becoming slightly more and more communist. 0.76. We'll let a day go on. They're now 0.79. That's not too bad. Hopefully, before it's all over, they will turn that way. Now, with the peace conferences, I will probably divide the Soviet Union apart between me and Japan. Now, I'll make sure whatever territory Poland already has gets it back, but Poland's going to be surrounded by us. They will definitely be surrounded by us. Ah, very good. Very, very good. Look at all these factories we have now that I don't really need. 
Hmm, you're fighting in the mountains. This is not a very conductive area for you to fight. Come over here where there's deserts and mountains. <laughs> exactly. Astrakhan. Ah, what a great place to be. Casualties. 300,000, that's about what I expected. The Germans aren't doing anything. I, I kind of expected that these f new allies that we have probably weren't going to do very much for us. The well, United States has lost quite a few. Soviets are more than halfway to capitulation. That's great. That's very great. Uh, tanks, just if you can, go ahead. I'm not really going to be too worried about that. How many more days until we can go to war with Estonia? Because I'll just send my tanks this way. Alright, so about 50-ish more days. And, my gosh, United States. you got to finish off the Mexicans here. The Un Andean Offensive? Um. Uh, what does that do? Oh, follow Moscow. We have Moscow. Very good. They again annex war goal against basically all of South America. Holy crap. United States, what's taking you so long? You're led by this guy, FDR, of course. FDR, come on. Oh, you have mutinies in the U.S. Army? Well, that could explain it. Mutinies aren't a really good thing, but, you know, you got half a million manpower. You're still on limited conscription. You have Women's Armed Service Integration Act, though. Hmm. I thought they would be doing maybe, maybe a little bit better than this. But, you know, I can always be wrong about things. Ah, uh, very good. Oh, I see. Your war support's about 15%. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. I mean, if you're not attacked, why would people want to go to war? Uh, very cool. Tanks. Uh, actually, you already secured your objective. How many more days until the Soviets die? I don't know. 79% of the way towards capitulation is pretty good. That's right, people. Always attack your enemy when they're down. Uh... You guys. Crank it up to crazy. Oh, yeah. And... Get ready to attack. Let's see. Supplies are doing very well. I mean, honestly, with if you're just focusing on Europe... Oh, we need more heavy fighters. So that's, not, that's really not good. If you're only focusing on Europe... It, this is actually pretty darn easy. It's not that hard. But if you focus on Europe, maybe even South America, or especially Africa... It you're just feels like you're just tied down so much in different places that you don't want to be tied down in. Let's see. Where is... Oh, heavy fighters. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. We need a lot of that aluminum. Thank you, France, for understanding my needs. And we're definitely going to need some more fuel. All right. Go ahead, guys. Finish those pesky riskies off. Pretty good amount of stability, pretty good amount of uh, manpower. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The infrastructure here is complete garbage. That's not very much fun. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Barely used any... Yeah, I've used some carriers, not very much. Naval warfare really wasn't a big part of this. If you're fighting the British or the French, then yeah, naval warfare is a pretty big part. But other than that, not really. Emsland oil fields. Well, we need excavation for to do that. Let's see. Let's be a little bit more generous. So I've given stuff back to the French, the Italians, and the Germans, and the Spanish. And that's already pretty much what I can do. Hmm. I really want to have my own communist Poland. I wish you could do that. Like, I know there's like a East Germany and West Germany you can have, but they should like each have cores on their own territory before you even go to war. I think that would be great because. Lithuania is still in the meat of Moors, and they're still alive. I remember that. Xinjiang is gone. That's not good. Wow, Ching China's definitely come back. India is definitely here, but I just wish there was more of a way that you could liberate different types of the same country. You know, communist Germany, democratic Germany, communist Poland, democratic Poland, uh, things like that. That'd be that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Alsace Lorraine, since I'm going to probably make Germany big again, I'll probably give that to the French. Or, actually, I don't know if you can do this, but I want to actually make Alsace Lorraine, or Alsace Lothringen, a demilitarized zone under my rule. That would be an amazing thing, kind of like in the Cold War, you know how Berlin was kind of, it wasn't demilitarized, but it was kind of coordinated, or, you know, 
owned to, to a degree by like NATO forces, United States forces, half of the city was, and just like make it a point of contention. That'd be kind of cool. I really would love to make this though demilitarized. I think that would be a, a lot of fun to see that happen. Or we could call this the free the free province, the free state of the <clears throat> future European Union. Oh yeah, because honestly, before I started recording this, I really wanted to make this continent, with Switzerland included, even though we don't have Portugal or Estonia right now, a union of Europeans, right? We're all equal here, while some are more equal to others at the moment. But we have a major majority from Africa saying the same thing. We should have a European Union or an African Union that combined make a good uh, communist union. Not a commenter, not a communist international, but a... Communist Union. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I would love to have re been able to rename this to the European Union, but uh, it's a little too late for that. It's unfortunate. Mm, get a little more agility for our heavy fighters. Well, that's a lot of factories. American Union, come on. The Soviets are so close to capitulation. There's a little more, more push from me. And we'll have them done and in the back. Did I tell you? Oh, I didn't even tell you to go. Well, that's okay. These guys will be able to go. We'll be able to capitulate the Soviets quick enough. And eventually we will take out Estonia as well as the Portuguese. Actually, how many more days? Is that a week? Oh, we're almost out of... Oh, wow, we're really dangerously close to running out of fuel. Uh, yeah, give me more fuel, guys. I need. I definitely need some more fuel. All right. If the Soviets capitulate this episode, hmm, how close are they? They're so close. This might actually be the last episode in this campaign because I really want to get the rest of Europe into my union here. Uh, it's 1945. Happy 1945, everyone. Good God, I need more fuel. Um, Subs, you did a great job. I'm going to tell you guys to cool your jets. Go ahead and repair. Stay home. Have some tea and some biscuits or something. Something British. I'm going to send my tanks back to Estonia. It's going to take some time for them to get down there. And that is totally okay with me. The Soviets, they are 5% of the way towards capitulation, and we are going to bring a revolution to Estonia. And then, between this and the little blurb I have coming up, this little blackout time, Portugal will also be under us. So, close air support sounds pretty good. Soviet losses are how much? 6 million versus our 380,000. Really, not bad. Truly not bad at all. Just come on, take a little bit more territory, guys. You got this. They are literally 2% of the way towards us, making sure that our communism is the bestest communism, that we're all equal, but some are more equal than others. Yes, our communism is better. You it looks like maybe they're retreating, but they're advancing. Hmm. Come on, super close. Super close. 2% still, 2%. Like, just like the milk, that's 2%. Ooh, better. Oh, yes. Thank God I was doing that. Better fuel refining? Yes, please. Come on, guys. You got this. Come on. Come on. Almost there. It is getting pretty darn laggy. They are still 2%. God dang it. Come on, guys. Are my tanks down here at least? Oh, they're getting close. Getting very close. Uh, how is Portugal doing? Well, they're getting close to do being more and more communist. That's good, at least. Uh, hmm. Got manpower. We got extra divisions. We got extra factories. We got more political power. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take out Portugal that way. Which I, I will probably use console commands to justify on them and to go to war with them. Yeah, that'll take too long. Cool. Come on, Soviets. I want to beat you up. Come on. 
They're so close. Please, 1%. 1%. They're 1%, just like the milk as well. 1% of the way there. Just give up, guys. Please. There we go. Cool. Um, You know what? Between this, I'm going to do right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur it out, and I will show you how the world, or at least Europe, will look when I am done here. So, I will see you in just a little bit. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Uh, of course, I'm still Mr. Mocha Lover. I think I am. Uh, but this is the world as we know it. So, right now, here is what I've got for you in terms of the British Communist Alternative. Now, you'll see that the Metamores is a very large faction now. Probably large in space only. So, I... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to break it down for you this way. Europe. Alright, so I did take out... I had to use console commands to go to war with the Portuguese. Uh, but, uh, pretty much, I just made them communist with us. Uh, with, under him, as well as the, was it, Estonians? Yeah, actually, I took out the Estonians first, but then they decided to ally with the Soviets, who was also my puppet, and then they were annexed, and then I re-liberated them. Also, before we're done here, because I think this is, this will be the last episode, I want to make sure I want to do something right. Here we are. So... Uh, nothing's really changed too much in Western Europe. I have given Germany a little bit more territory, however, a lot of it is still under my jurisdiction, including Hamburg, all of Southern Germany, and pretty much Western Germany, including the Rhineland. I've given a little bit more territory back to the French of Loire, and given Gibraltar to the Spanish. Uh, Italy. <sighs> Italy, Italy, Italy. Uh, you know, I'll give them Sicily back, just because I don't want to deal with a mob down there. So, I still own pretty much a little bit less than half of Italy. Germany is this way. Poland and Lithuania are unfortunately still in the Metamores. I really don't want to go to war with them. But, if you want me to continue my war against the Metamores, or start a war against the Metamores, I should say, let me know in the comments below. I really don't feel like fighting a land war in Asia just to get rid of this little remnant of Poland as well as Lithuania. Whatever. Also, we have my little territory of what I wish I could make into Poland with basically Warsaw as the capital. That'd be really cool. Uh, Poland is still not aligned. That's interesting. As well as them. But we do have Latvia here. Latvian People's Republic. We have a regular Hungary here. Uh, Bulgaria. Romania is now under us. Konstantin Ion Parhon. And they pretty much got all their regular territory back. The Ukraine is here, actually. I liberated the Ukrainians so that they wouldn't starve under someone named Josef Stalin. And, there, and Ukraine is led by Khrushchev. Uh, Belarus is kind of weak at the moment. Led by PP. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that with those names. PP. And of course we have Red Finland. Once again back here. They're not going to get annexed by the Soviets. Uh, before we talk about the big country ab above us. We have Georgia. Interesting flag. Very interesting flag. We have Armenia. As well as Azerbaijan. And then of course over here we have Kazakhstan. Uzbekistan. Uh, Turkestan Autonomous Socialist Republic, Tajik Soviet Republic, as well as the Kyrgyz Soviet Republic, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for everyone we annexed, except for, or liberated, except for the Russian Soviet Socialist Republic. It's the RSSR, not the USSR, because they're no longer united. The game actually took apart the Soviet Union when I liberated them after everyone else. But they're still loved by this guy named Stalin. It's isn't very cool, but... It's actually interesting to see the Russian Soviet Socialist Republic instead of the USSR. I thought that was pretty darn neat. And obviously, uh, Japan got all this territory. It's just, you know, empty territory. It's Siberia. They did take Mongolia. And I did give them Xinjiang as another buffer state between me and my allies versus them and China. So, Also, I did liberate Southeast Asia. Lao People's Democratic Republic. Uh, what is this? Democratic Republic of Vietnam. I hope the Americans never come here. And then we have Cambodia as well. People's Republic of Cambodia. Well, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, because I wanted to end the war a little fast between the United States and Mexico, I did let Mexico get taken over by the United States. Uh, for some reason, Nicaragua, I think it's Nicaragua. Yeah. is in the Media Moors. And the American Union State has a good portion of northern South America as well as some Caribbean islands. But that is the world that we live in currently. At least in this game. If you want me to continue to 
spread our revolution further to other areas of the world, please let me know. I think overall, though, I'm done with this campaign. It was very fun, very interesting, a lot more enjoyable than I thought it was, especially since we're centered in Europe mostly, and we're not done yet here. Uh, I'm not going to give all the territory of like Germany, Italy, and Spain back just because we need more time to make sure that they are fully, completely communist like us. I wish I could liberate Cornwall, but whatever. Uh, we have Scotland here. That's a very interesting flag for Scotland. Hmm. And Wales. Interesting as well. Well, regardless, this is where I'm going to leave it at for the moment. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue or start as someone new tomorrow. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow either playing as the Union of Britain still or as the wonderful somebody else. Uh, subscribe if you're new, like I said. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.